Welcome to Ecastler Online Courses. In today's video, we are going to discuss about comments in Terraform. In this topic, first I am going to give a brief introduction to comments. Comments in Terraform are essential elements of board annotation and documentation. They serve as non-executable text within configuration files, providing human readable explanations or notes that are ignored by the Terraform engine during execution. Let's explore the world of Terraform comments. Now we are going to see about definition of comments. Comments in Terraform are textual annotations embedded within the code they play several crucial roles, enhancing code quality, readability, and collaboration. Next, we are going to see about types of comments. First one is single line comments. It begins with the hash character and extends to the end of the line. Used for brief annotations or explanations on a single line of code. Here I have shown a sample output block. By using a single line comments. Now I am going to open my Visual Studio Code to show you how to use single line comments. I am going to open my project directory. Here I am going to use my S3 bucket. Here I am going to comment my output block. I don't want to use this while executing so I am using single line comment here in the next line up to the end of the line I am saving these changes next I am going to explain multi-line comments Terraform lacks built-in support for traditional slash star followed by star slash style multi-line comments achieve a similar effect using consecutive single line comments this is the sample output block here i used multi-line comments in the beginning of the line you have to specify like slash star and the end of the line you have to specify star slash now again i am going to open my visual studio code Here, I am going to use my EC2 instance. Here also I have some output blocks. Now I am going to use multi-line commands to exclude this code from the project. At the end of the line, I am going to use star slash. Save this changes. <coughs> Now I am going to explain the advantages and uses of comments. First one is documentation. Comments elucidate the purpose, functionality and reasoning behind specific sections of Terraform code. This aids developers and operators in comprehending infrastructure configurations effectively. Second one is explanation and clarification. Additional explanations or clarifications provided by comments enhance the code's understandability for other developers or even the original author during code revisits. The third advantage is code management. Comments serve as markers for various code management tasks. Developers can annotate areas of the code for future updates debugging or refactoring the fourth advantage is temporary code removal comments enable developers to temporarily exclude certain parts of the code from execution without deleting them it facilitates 
debugging, experimentation, or testing alternative implementations. And the final advantage is best practices. Adhering to best practices for commenting ensures consistency and readability across the code base. Well structured and informative comments facilitate code maintenance, particularly in collaborative projects. Now, again, I'm going to open my Visual Studio Code. Now, I'm going to show my desired state. I have one EC2 instance creating code and I excluded this output block from execution and here I have one S3 bucket creating code. Here also I excluded this output block from executing or creating while apply command. Now I am going to show this changes by using Windows PowerShell. Now here first I am going to enter into my project directory. Here I am going to check for Terraform plan. Now it is showing two to add. One is S3 bucket and another one is AW instance. If I said yes, it will create these two instances, but it excludes the output blocks which I use comments, single line and multi line comments to exclude that from the project. Now I am going to use Terraform apply command. Plan 2 to add, 0 to change, 0 to destroy. Do you want to perform these actions? If I enter yes, it will create one EC2 instance and one S3 bucket in my AWS project. Now it is creating one EC2 instance and one S3 bucket. Play completed to add it. Now I'm going to show you the changes. Now again I'm going to my Visual Studio Code. Here I'm going to select my project directory. Now I'm going to include this output block and show you the changes. I save this. Save these changes. Similarly, I'm going to remove this multi line comments too, and I'm going to show you how it is executing. Now, I'm going back to my Windows PowerShell. Here, I'm going to use format command to change alignment. Okay, nothing need to change everything is in order now i'm going to apply terraform command terraform apply hyphen hyphen auto hyphen approve okay. 
now it will not create all the instances instead it is asking changes to outputs instance underscore public underscore dns name it is showing the output of the block which we created in s3 bucket and ec2 instances here i received the output directly from the powershell now finally i am going to open my aws management console to show you this server Here you have to select EC2 instance. Here you can see one instance is running. Just now we have created this Apache web server. And we also check S3 bucket. Here you can see the details about S3 bucket. AWS underscore DevOps bucket. It is created through the desired code. Now, finally, I am going to delete this instances by using terraform destroy command. Hyphen hyphen auto hyphen approve. After deleting this instances, we cannot able to see again in the management console. It will be in terminated state. Let's try completed. Again, I am going to open my browser to check whether any instance is running here. If you refresh it, you cannot see any instances here. No instances in S3 bucket. If you want to check EC2, you have to select instances running. Here no instance is showing because we already terminated the instance. And finally, I'm going to explain the conclusion. Well crafted comments significantly en enhance code quality, foster collaboration and contribute to a better understanding of Terraform configurations. It is imperative to remember the well commented code base is a valuable asset for any development team. That's all about comments. Thank you.